A rough week for the banking industry. The collapse of Silicon Valley Bank. The second biggest bank collapse in U.S. history. People wondering if they should have PTSD into 2008. SVB Financial Group became the greatest bank failure since the financial crisis of 2008. Why everyone thinks there's a recession coming in 2023. Renowned investor Michael Berry, who foresaw the 2008 financial crisis, raises the alarm once more with a fresh warning about the impending 2023 recession. In their predictions for this year, economists have noted a recession. However, opinions on its timing and severity differ. As long as inflation stays at a 40-year high, consumers and investors are concerned about how much the cost of living will increase. But whether the economy will experience a recession is the subject that worries everyone, including the government, markets, and consumers. The frightening word is the R word. However, there is little doubt among analysts today that a recession will occur in 2023. While most people refer to Michael Berry as a one-trick pony, there is no denying that in more recent times, he has also accurately predicted the massive financial crisis that occurred in the mid to late 2000s. Michael Berry was one of the select few investors who accurately predicted the great U.S. housing bubble that played out in the mid to late 2000s as depicted in The Big Short. He bet big, buying credit default swaps on subprime mortgage bonds personally profiting by about $100 million from the collapse spike. In the middle six months of the year, consumer spending, which accounts for two-thirds of GDP, is expected to barely increase. According to median projections, global GDP will barely expand by 0.3% in 2023. That includes a quarterly annualized decline of 0.7% in the second quarter and no growth in the first or third. According to Maria Vassilou, co-chief investment officer of multi-asset solutions at Goldman Sachs Asset Management, we expect that the Fed will stay in restrictive policy for a while unless the effect on real GDP growth and unemployment becomes particularly severe and inflation has fallen close to target. The US is in a recession by any standard. A recession has already been predicted by a number of corporate titans, including Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos. My advice to individuals, particularly small business owners, is to eliminate some risks. If you're going to buy something, maybe wait a little longer, Bezos advised in November. If you are an individual and are considering purchasing a new large screen TV, you might want to hold off and wait and see what happens. The same goes for a new refrigerator or car. Let's eliminate some dangers. The renowned investor Michael Berry, who has emerged as Wall Street's prophet, appears to concur with this dismal prognosis. Just now, he made his first projections for 2023, and they are depressing. Regardless of the matter and how the term recession is used, according to Berry, the American economy will experience one in 2023. On January 1, Barry posted on Twitter, Inflation peaked. However, this is not the cycle's last peak. In 2H 2023, the CPI is probably going to fall, maybe even become negative, and the US will likely be in a recession by any measure. He continues by outlining a vicious loop. The federal government should unveil a stimulus program to aid households choked by the weakening economy while the Federal Reserve, which has increased interest rates to a level unseen since the 2008 financial crisis, would reverse course and decrease rates. All of this will result in a subsequent spike in inflation, much like what occurred during the COVID-19 epidemic. We will essentially witness a practice run for what happens after March 2020. Government will stimulate, while the Fed will slash, and there will be another increase in inflation. It's not difficult, explains Barry. Barry's predictions in the past are legendary. Barry became a household name as a result of the 2008 financial crisis, one of the worst financial disasters in history. As a result, he became one of the role models for flouting accepted wisdom in the financial industry. The investor in the 2015 movie, The Big Short, 
learns that the industry had turned into a sandcastle as a result of financiers and bankers creating exotic products based on mortgages given to financially precarious households and borrowers with bad credit. The investor had no prior knowledge of finance or real estate. Therefore, he made the decision to wager on the subprime mortgage market's demise, giving rise to the term Big Short. History has proven him correct. Barry, who now oversees the hedge fund Scion Asset Management, has developed into something of a Wall Street profit since then. According to his Twitter account, Cassandra BC, he accepted this assignment. He serves as a kind of party pooper for investors and risk takers. Barry recently issued a warning that the economy was about to drastically worsen, that there would soon be a wave of mass layoffs of white collar workers, and that the stock market, which had enjoyed two years of success during the pandemic, would soon face its worst test. With interest rates currently rising steadily, the consumer recession is confirmed by trends in consumer spending and saving. As you can see, right now the personal savings rate is very low. So on average, Americans simply don't have any spare cash to put towards investments. As debts like mortgages and car loans become more expensive to service, and with inflation also running hot and raising the cost of living, this leaves very little money left over for anything else. As you can see, personal savings rates are currently very low. As a result, the average American doesn't have much extra money to invest. And with credit likely to tighten as a result of the recent banking shocks, there won't likely be much borrowing going on either, which will only stifle cash inflows to investments. Further, there is a good deal of evidence that the dip mentality that has prevailed over the past few years may soon be coming to an end, which would undermine market support. If the market begins to decline once more, but there is no one to support it, this could result in the scenario that Michael Berry has been foreseeing all along, in which we experience yet another significant downslope. Bloomberg surveyed 38 analysts in December and found that 70% of them predicted a recession for the next year. This is up from 65% in November. According to analysts, the Federal Reserve's increased interest rates will reduce demand. However, they concur that the recession will be brought on by the Federal Reserve's interest rate policy. Despite the fact that the central bank was responsible for averting the last two recessions, recessions typically come on suddenly. According to Moody's Analytics analyst Mark Zandi, CEOs rarely discuss recessions. CEOs are rushing to declare that a recession is about to begin. Everyone on TV mentions the recession. Recession, says every economist. It's unlike anything I've ever seen. According to Mark Zandi, chief economist of Moody's Analytics, when inflation is high and the Fed raises interest rates to combat it, it typically results in a downturn or recession. The typical overheated scenario that results in a recession always happens. This story has been told before. The economy, eventually collapses under the weight of increased interest rates when inflation increases and the Fed raises interest rates in response. Zandi is one of the few economists who think the Federal Reserve can prevent a recession by hiking rates just slightly longer than necessary without stifling growth. But he claimed that there are many predictions that the economy will tank. A recession is regarded as a protracted period of economic decline that has an impact on the entire economy and normally lasts for at least two quarters. The National Bureau of Economic Research, the Authorities on Recessions, takes into account the severity, scope, and duration of the downturn. However, the NBER could declare a recession if any factor is significant enough. For instance, even though it lasted only a short time, the pandemic downturn in 2020 was so abrupt, acute, and had a significant impact that it was classified as a recession. A recession is regarded as a protracted period of economic decline that has an impact on the entire economy and normally lasts for at least two quarters.